You guys, groceries are expensive, and even though I budget and I plan ahead, I'm always surprised at how much a grocery bill turns out to eat. So this week I wanted to challenge myself to try to do an entire week of home-cooked dinners for only $25. Really quick, pause this video and leave a comment down below if you think that I am able to do it, and let's jump in to this challenge. Okay, step one, we have to head off to the grocery store to get stuff for this week's challenge. Um, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not gonna try to wing it. I have planned ahead. Number one thing when it comes to trying to do five dinners for $25, you gotta plan ahead. You gotta pick items you can use in multiple meals. So let's head to the grocery store. So I'm getting chicken and I found this chicken on sale for $4.40. This is gonna be a staple for like three of our meals. So this was a good find. They're not gonna be as good as Thomas's, but we're gonna have to make do. Can I get the Big Y brand? Saves me like 50 cents. Luckily the cheese is on sale, which is good because I was really worried about the price of cheese. I was hoping to get fresh mozzarella, but it's just not in the budget, so we're gonna have to go for the shredded mozzarella. Okay, I'm not really adding this up as I go, so I'm just gonna see at the end if I can do it for 25. I'm a little worried I'm gonna be closer to $30. These are on sale. Once again, gonna go generic brand save more money. Ooh, brown rice for 169. Let's see right here. 169. That's gonna be the cheapest we're gonna find. Alright, so I was able to get everything I needed at the grocery store for $25 and like 44 cents. I will put a link in the description box down below to the exact grocery list that I used. I will put it up in a blog post, but just so you can see it, I will put it right here really briefly so you can see a breakdown of all of the stuff I got at the grocery store. But now what I'm going to do is just bring you along with me for the entire week as I cook my dinner. Alright, it's Monday. I'm going to start by marinating all of my chicken for the week. To sort of break it up, I'm gonna do chicken Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Tonight we're gonna to have caprese, caprese, caprese chicken, caprese, I don't really know. So I am just taking half of the Italian seasoning packet I got, and I'm gonna marinate a couple pieces of the chicken breast I got. And then the rest of the chicken, while I'm at it, I'm going to marinate it in the taco seasoning. I'm going to use half of my taco seasoning. I'm gonna save the rest of the taco seasoning because I'm gonna use it for something else. Moving on to tonight's dinner, I'm adding some sliced garlic to the chicken and just baking it. Meanwhile, I'm going to cook some of the rice and add a little of the Italian seasoning to this to make seasoned rice. And I'm also going to mix some of the seasoning with a little olive oil to make dressing for a side salad. By the way, I did decide that salt, pepper, and olive oil are just going to be freebies that are included as part of the weekly budget since they're kind of just household staples. When the chicken's almost done, I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese and sliced tomatoes, bake it a few more minutes. All right, Monday's meal's done. I have um, caprese chicken on top of um, some lettuce. I made up some Italian rice, and then I just did half of an English muffin since I bought those for some other meals this week. Threw a little olive oil and parsley on it, and we're good to go. All right, it is Tuesday today. We are making black bean burgers with some fries on the side. We are going to whip up really easy black bean patties and we're going to use our English muffins as our buns to get more use out of those $2 English muffins. We're gonna use them all up this week. I'm gonna start by cutting the potatoes into wedges, adding olive oil, salt, and pepper, and I'll bake these in the oven. For the black bean patties, I'm taking half a can of black beans and mashing them, then adding salt and pepper, a third of the can of corn, a clove of garlic, and then something to bind it together. Breadcrumbs are best, and I did have some breadcrumbs in my cabinet, so I use those, but if you need to stay under the $25 and you don't have any, you can use the rice that we got. Then I just cook these on a pan until they are golden brown on both sides, and I'm serving them with English muffins that I purchased with some of the spring mix. All right guys, Tuesday's meal is done. Obviously you can dress this up if you have like any extra condiments in your fridge, whatever you kind of keep around, some mayonnaise, if you want to throw some ketchup on there. If you want cheese on your burger, you could definitely do that. Use the Monterey or the mozzarella that we bought for the week. I like mine without cheese. We've made it to Wednesday. Today I'm going to make chicken fajita salads. We're gonna use some of that chicken that we marinated on Monday with the taco seasoning, and then we're gonna make a little bit of Spanish rice. I'm baking the chicken at 450 degrees and simmering the other half of the black beans from yesterday on the stove. To make the seasoned rice, I'm just going to add some taco seasoning to rice. And for the salad, I have my spring mix, and then I'm layering on some corn from yesterday, diced tomato, the cooked beans, the chicken, some of the Monterey cheese, and the sour cream, and the seasoned rice. All right, and that's it. Wednesday's meal is done. This one was super quick. I honestly put this together in probably less than 15 minutes, and it looks like it's gonna be delicious and super filling. 
I gotta be honest, this is my favorite dinner that I've made so far. It's honestly something that I would bake like normally, even if I was not doing this challenge. And yes, I'm sitting on my sofa eating this because I'm not gonna try to pretend like I'm sitting at the table having a fancy dinner. Also, I wanna show you what Michael's having. He didn't wanna have a salad because apparently it was too healthy for him. So I honestly used all of the same exact ingredients except we had some extra tortillas from last week. Um, and so I just put the chicken and cheese and corn in there and then just had beans and rice. So that's like a little variation. If you want, you would just have to add tortillas. I'm sure. All right, we've made it to Thursday and we're going to make English muffin pizzas and a side salad. This is probably the easiest meal we're gonna make. It's gonna take me about 10 minutes, which is perfect for a Thursday because it's Friday Eve and we just want something easy and quick. Okay, so basically you're just gonna take the English muffins, add the pizza sauce and cover it in cheese. Then I did have some baby spinach that I was able to pull out of the spray mix that I bought. So I pulled that out and made a couple of these uh, spinach pizzas. And then I'm just gonna serve this with a side salad with some tomatoes. And I even had a little bit of corn left over that I could mix into the salad too. All right, we're done, dinner is served. This one took me 10 minutes. All right guys, we made it to Friday and our last meal is going to be a really easy crock pot meal. We are going to use the last of our chicken that we've been marinating in the taco seasoning, a jar of salsa, throw it into the crock pot on low for a couple of hours. And then that does it. I'm just going to shred the chicken with two forks and serve it with the seasoned rice. I put a little bit of the Monterey cheese and some sour cream on top and we're done. Personally, I would probably like something green on this if I'd had it in my budget, maybe some fresh avocado or like some roasted broccoli. Either way, this still works as a full meal. It's definitely going to be nice and filling. All right, my friends, that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this uh, sort of like budgeting challenge. It was pretty hard to do it, but I was actually surprised I was able to complete all of the meals for $25. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.